this is shingle oak. This is shingle. And here's really here's the short. Again, you got an oak, and it's got that kind of leaf, and it's much bigger than the willow. It's shingle oak. And then even better yet, feel the underside of a leaf, velvet. So a, not an oak leaf, so to speak, again. By the way, is it red or a white? Red. It's a red. There's one tip, one bristle. <laughs> yeah. And in the winter, it holds some leaves. And so we tell them, look, use the leaf. Yeah. Well, it still feel that mm -hmm. Alternate clustered buds. I got an oak. Oh, geez, there's even acorns on this one. These leaves, it has to be shingle oak. Don't complicate this. A big willow oak leaf and a small one of these don't overlap. Okay. And never just look at one anyway. You gotta look at many and say, ah, these are much bigger. The acorn, if they're there, they kind of look a bit like a little black oak. Not as loose, but you see if you get it up close, it kind of looks like that a little bit, but it's a bit tighter, it's not as loose, not as many layers. But the way it, the way it bulges and all the hut. A little bit, but much, much smaller. You know, we have the five common ones, but it's not even, it's very uncommon. So, but it is in this area. This is the oak that they preferred to make things. They couldn't always get it, but it's very straight. You can cleave very thin slabs off, right? So they cut it into short chunks, and then you just start splitting it down, and you can make piles of oak shingles. And that's, this is the one that it was like, no, get me one of them shingles. But they, were, but they weren't always there. If they did, they really liked it.